Hello. I um, put the boys to bed, so they are taking a nap. And I thought I would change Sela. I found a white onesie in the boys' tub. And let me tell you, I was like trying to hold back tears because when I pulled it out and realized <laughs> how small it was, oh, it made me so sad <laughs> because my boys are getting so big. Oh my gosh, so, I just cannot believe it. So I'm gonna keep something simple on Sela today. I'm gonna put this little Carter's onesie on her. This is a three month size. So she's all nakey. And then I found this sweet Dr. Brown's pacifier holder um, also in the bin. And it has two little clips right here that you can clip pacifier. Maybe you want to clip a teething ring right here. And she's got a little satin purple, or I should say, not purple, but <laughs> lavender bow. And so I put an Avent pacifier on there. It's not modified, but I'm going to modify it for her because I think that's going to look really cute. I'm going to have to see if I have any magnets. Okay, baby girl. Let's double check and look at your diaper here. So I think I'm going to do a live video after I'm done changing her. And then I can feed her, talk with you guys at the same time. I'm trying to see if you're getting a good look. Okay, so put her little, little dear there. Yeah, now we got you a white onesie. Yeah. Oh, this looks nice and on you. You look comfy. Oh my goodness. Let's, let's move you this way so they can see you. <laughs> she looks all tuckered out, huh? Did you have a good sleep? You're still sleeping, huh? Let me tell you, <clears throat> those of you that watch children, have children, or grandparents, you really do love the silence. <laughs> like when they go down for their nap, oh, I can finally breathe and catch up and do things that I want to do, you know? So this right here brings me such joy such peace after such a busy busy morning with my twins and to come in here and see a baby who's quiet <laughs> and I can just dress her and she'll stay that way is very very relaxing to me oh my gosh I just love it I know mommy went over the top this time. I've been putting all your clothes on from the bottom. Is mommy getting a little bit more daring? Oh, this is cute. You're wearing gray again. I just realized that. <laughs> I just, I really like the, um, 
the colors around the neck line. I walk by the baby department. <clears throat> My boys are out of that baby um, area because the size they wear and now they're on the other side of the baby department and so every so often I'll walk through and I just oh, the clothes the clothes for like newborn up to three months oh my gosh they're so precious so next time I go to Target I'll do a video um, of all the clothes they have at my store I'm sure they're probably the same at yours but just in case you don't have a Target or you're overseas Maybe you might want to see. I definitely won't be bringing Selah out on any kind of outing unless I'm by myself because it's a little too much work <laughs> to have a reborn out with you plus my babies. That's just too much. So we're not going to push it and plus it's really hot it's 102 already it was nice this morning we went on a bike ride we go on a bike ride every day there we go there we go oh oh I found some more scratch mittens too look I found this one this one and this one isn't a white one so I'm excited about that okay hold on let me pause you okay <clears throat> I had to adjust you a little bit because kind of all up in the baby girl's face I found these little socks so I thought what the heck we'll put some socks on her today I normally don't care for socks on my babies now I used to love like the socks and the shoes but then when I had my own kids I never put socks and shoes on them because their feet were so tiny I would do socks I take that back I would do infant socks but I would never put shoes on them they didn't start wearing shoes until they were probably seven or eight months old and even then I only had one or two pairs because they weren't walking yet. They were just crawling. So it was mainly for looks um, when we would go out to the store. Other than that, they were always barefooted. Okay, let mommy brush your hair. Because mommy messed it up. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. She messed it up. A pretty girl. I think I love this little, this part right here. You can see her little arm with the little ruffle. So cute. So I think this pacifier is going to look really cute on her. Once I get it modified. So hopefully I can do that. <clears throat> so much free time <laughs> oh goodness so um, thank you um, for letting me know you guys still do theme Thursday but who's in charge of theme Thursday what channel picks the things and announces it because I don't know I did find another outfit out in the garage. I found this blue one by Cat and Jack. And I found this one. Thank goodness I didn't give it away. I think everybody loved this outfit when it came out. And it was this one with the cats. And it was by little golden books remember when golden books came out with their little collection of clothes and it came with a little sweater and bloomers so i kept that 
And I found a little sweater in there, a little ivory sweater. So that was fun. I'm putting all this in her bag. I had no PJs. I have one PJs for her that she came home with, but that's it. Um, the other ones I have are too small, so I'm gonna give them to my friend who has a little baby. She just got a silicone baby, Bonnie. So I'm gonna give it to her because her baby will be able to fit it. I love how the artist rid all these little baby hairs like around her hairline. It looks very realistic. Hmm. Uh oh. Did I turn you off? 